Professor Sir Christopher Dobson from the University of Cambridge has joined me now, a plenary speaker here at Congress. Welcome, thank you for your time. Thank you. Can we just start by talking a little bit about your research and some of the key applications in it? Well, my research really started with trying to understand how protein molecules, which are the workhorses of the cell, um, actually achieve their biological function. And then really by chance we discovered that uh, under some conditions they don't achieve their normal states and they aggregate into uh, amyloid plaques which are very famous of course in the context of Alzheimer's disease. So our recent research has been to understand that process uh, from a molecular basis um, and uh, to then to try to uh, understand how biology controls these processes and now we're trying to base on that information how we can develop uh, potential therapeutic treatments for diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, motor neuron disease, and even type 2 diabetes. So enormous potential benefits. Oh, it's, it's hard to overestimate the significance of these diseases. Um, the, there are already 40 million people suffering from Alzheimer's disease, and of course we know the social as well as the economic costs of this. Um, in the next 25 years, that number will increase threefold. Uh, because of the aging population, <clears throat> because the incidence is much higher over the age of 65. I know there's a lot left in your career, but when you look back over it, what are the, some of the, the achievements you're most proud of? Well, I think probably what, what I'm really most proud of is that uh, something approaching 100 people who work with me now have faculty positions uh, teaching virtually every country uh, in, in the world or every region of the world. And I think that's the, um, the legacy that I really want uh, to sort of focus on. And indeed, in Cambridge, we've set up uh, what we call a Centre for Misfolding Diseases, which looks at this whole class of diseases. And I have two very close colleagues, and they, in the long term, they're much younger than me, will continue this um, into the future. So I think it's, it's really starting this process of trying to understand these diseases and then having a legacy, <coughs> both in Cambridge and many other parts of the world, that will. Uh, enable this work to go on and with luck uh, you know I'm convinced that we will be able to find treatments for these diseases uh, but it will need a, a lot of people from a lot of different disciplines working together coherently to find solutions. Tell me a little bit about the plenary talk you gave here. Well, what I tried to do in the plenary talk because this is a chemistry meeting but it covers all aspects of chemistry is to try to show how our work really evolved from um, curiosity about um, a chemical process into uh, practical applications in these diseases. It was a complete surprise. We had no intention of, um, we had no expectation of, of ending up in this area. Uh, but because we've begun to understand why these diseases occur, what the molecular basis of, we've thought of ways in which we can try and inhibit these processes. And of course then we have in my view, a moral responsibility to try and get these into uh, the clinic in some way because of the, the, the terrible consequences of this group of diseases. Congratulations on the knighthood, by the way. Did it Thank come you. as a surprise? It was or? a complete surprise, but um, uh, what was very nice was that um, it really was a recognition of, of hundreds of people who worked with me over 40 years, and so I really recognised their work. Um, and I'm very proud of them all. And so, um, of course, one person gets the recognition, but actually it's, it's um, really a response to fantastic work by a lot of really brilliant students. Just finally, can I ask you what else you're looking forward to here at Congress? Well, one of the things I look forward to at all scientific meetings is meeting colleagues from all around the world. <clears throat> Science is a very international activity, and um, people from every country come to these meetings with common goals. Um, the other thing I'm very interested about is, is learning about the real developments and other aspects of chemistry because chemistry is really a central science and you know, everything from uh, energy production through to uh, treating diseases through to global warming, tackling these problems comes up in meetings like this and this is very exciting. So Christopher, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.